You are listening to I Am Refocus podcast with your host, Shemaya Reed. This podcast is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. Now, let's tune in into today's podcast. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is I Am Refocus podcast. We are here at Bay Bay's gym. Man, shout out to Bay Bay, man. He is doing his thing here in San Antonio, Texas. We have a special, special podcast because not only we're in the gym, we're going to hear some of the gym things going around. We are talking to an athlete, man, Mr. Aaron Green. He's been on the show before once, and he's back against a special guest. Mr. NFL play himself <laughs> You know what I'm saying So shout out to Aaron Green Being back on the show How you doing sir? I'm doing good Appreciate you guys for having me man It's an honor to be here So man Tell us man What's been going on in your life man Since the last time you spoke uh, Man a lot has changed uh, Been bouncing around a lot um, mm-hmm. Changing homes a lot Changing cities mm-hmm. uh, You know just the life of a, a athlete It can be unstable at times Uh just got done playing in the the American of Alliance Football League, yeah. um, playing for the San Antonio Commanders. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think everybody knows the disaster that happened with yeah. that. Uh, so, you know, I'm still recovering from that, um, moving on from that. Um, other than that, man, I've been cooling, man. I've been, you know, focusing on myself, uh, focusing on my inner peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, man, life has been good, man. I, I, I really have no complaints, no complaints. And, man, that league... I won't mention too many times, but that that league was really good, man. Like, yeah, it was from the jump. Yeah, it was. It, it was creating a buzz in the city yeah. of San Antonio, man. So it, it was good, man. I hope something works out, maybe in the future. But you know, besides that point, when you see yourself making all these moves, because you mentioned how you're moving, you're keeping up with changes and stuff. How have you kept that mind frame set? Oh uh, man, it's, it's you know I feel like I've always been a pretty positive person um, in the midst of this negative world. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think you know just the people that I have around me, my family, uh, my lady, they keep me sane. Uh, meditation, continuing to to write, to get my thoughts out into the universe, um, which she inspired me to do. You know, I was I've never been a writer. Mm -hmm. Uh, So just the things that, you know, may bother me, you know, just express it, get it out. Um, I think that's low key the problem with a lot of athletes, especially football players. Growing up, we've been taught to channel up all this energy and take it out in a a physical way on the field. But then when you're outside of the field, you know, as when we're we're growing into men, a lot of people don't know how to express themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just being around people that... I'm comfortable with expressing how I feel, um, hearing their input. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's kept me above flow. It kept me above water. It's made, kept me happy. It kept me pe- peaceful. Like I said, man, life is good. There's one thing you said the first time we talked, man. You said something about uh, wherever the mind goes, the body follows. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so much things are happening in, in, in our country, in our world. And to have that focus, that that clarity, that that takes a lot of good habits. Yeah, and also it takes breaking some of the old habits. Right. You know, because right, right. I, I talked to someone recently about uh, if you learn how to stop certain things, mm. it gives you more time to focus on the things that need to be right focused on. Right. When you are balancing your schedule, whether you're on the football field and then spending time with family how do you set your priorities can you say that again how do you set your priorities when it comes to football field and then family time well i mean to be honest i feel like the older i've got the more books that i've read the more intelligent people that i've talked to um the more that i've spent time just outside in nature Mm -hmm. i think things um gain a new perspective for me Mm -hmm. um I realize that none of this stuff that we worry about really doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um, a job, like what? What's a, what's a job? Like I, I get that it's how we provide for our family, but in reality, what is a job? That's true. Does it define you? You know what? Whatever you do, does it does it define you? Mm-hmm. You know, is it really important? Is that piece of paper really that important? That currency? Mm-hmm. Like we got people killing each other for a piece of paper. Yeah. 
We got systems set up in America that's killing a certain group of people over a piece of paper. Yeah, that's true. I can't help to think. You, <laughs> you know. feel me? Like, come on, man. And so I just yeah. feel like when you when you get the grasp of this stuff, and it's just like, man, happiness and love is the only thing that matters because in, in the knowledge that you obtain because your consciousness is the only thing that's going to go on to whatever's after this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you buy, the accomplishments that you made, 50 years, ain't nobody going to be talking about that. You know what I'm saying? So why are we stressing about it? Yeah, it's interesting you, you mentioned that because as soon as you said that, I, I immediately thought about Nipsey Hussle, that mm-hmm. whole situation. Uh, he had such a influence where he was. And uh, we, we was earlier watching uh, the live stream on BET, mm-hmm. the, the funeral. Uh, and just rest have, in peace, Nipsey. You know, yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Because if you see the crowd all over the country, from Detroit, San Antonio had a visual. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. San Antonio had a visual. Light the candle light. Yeah. Night. And if you look at the impact that he did, I mean, the genius of the world in marketing, uh, Gary V. Even he made a tribute out yeah. of New York. Yeah. This guy, I mean, impact, impact. impact. I mean, you talking about? You talking about influence? I mean, he. Because I didn't know a whole lot about his music. I saw him all the time, you know, on, on online and stuff, and working with people like P. Diddy and DJ Khaled and all that stuff. But for reading the story about when Jay Z bought, like, it was, it was the, the mixtape that cost like $100 a piece or whatever, and, mm-hmm. and, and Jay Z made an investment yeah. on this guy. Yeah. And he bought something worth like 100000 or something like that. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying that because when you're talking about impact and using your platform, that's that's a responsibility. I mean, it's so many good stories in in his music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. And it's not just him. Like, you know, if you look at today's athletes, not to switch up on football. If you look at what Dwayne Wade, when they made a tribute to him, I saw a piece where people were actually coming up to him and telling him stories of how they changed his life. Mm. You know, a mom talking about her daughter you know being able to graduate because of what he was doing for scholarship money Mm. so i'm saying all that to say our influence your influence and other athletes influence and then hip-hop's influence what do you feel is the key to be able to impact people once you have that platform what is that key that allows you to give that yeah i think you have to have a certain love for yourself and then you have to have love for the people um that look like you um i think that was nipsey's whole mission i think he 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 got it he was a he was that that black sheep in the midst of white sheep you know he 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 got what was going on in this world he got who was oppressed he got who was mistreated um he got all of that you know and he he chose to speak on it and he chose to pour into his community to the left to the less privileged to the people you know he 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 gave people who didn't have jobs jobs you know what i'm saying send people to college and things like that so i think for one you have to have a heart for it and you have to be knowledgeable of what's going on out there Mm -hmm. and truth be told we we're the people who need to be poured on poured in the most you know and if it's not gonna come from us it ain't gonna come from nobody it's true and i think we've seen that in human history that ain't ain't nobody gonna nobody gonna save the black man ain't nobody gonna save the black race you know what i'm saying but it's as long as we are not knowledgeable of what's going on mm-hmm. which that was his whole mission was to wake us up and make us knowledgeable of what's going on yeah. and things will never change you know what I'm saying you can't you can't fight a problem that you don't even know is there you know and I feel like we all have this sense that you know something's not right in America I think from from when you were a baby from when you were a kid when you, when you were in school mm-hmm. you knew I man I don't really feel like my life is valued like that kid over there Mm -hmm. and I can tell you I felt that way since I was five years old before I even knew what black and white was but that's just something I felt and so when someone with that type of platform risked everything that they ever worked for um, Mm -hmm. everything that they've ever gained Mm -hmm. to 
to, to, to put knowledge in the minds of the people that look like them to the people who are oppressed like they have all of my respect the same thing with Colin Kaepernick and mm -hmm. you know these revolutionaries like these these are people that's going to be in yearbooks I mean um, yeah. textbooks Text from books, 50 yeah. years from now you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so people that are like that that give up everything to empower their people they got they got all my respect and, and we should all do the same I'm glad this went in this direction because yeah. it, it, at the end of the day it all ties into what is your real purpose? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a rapper, whether you're an athlete, at the end of the day, <clears throat> who are you? Hmm. You know, talking to the audience out there, who are you? I mean, you listen to this podcast show, you, t you listen to Aaron Green talking, but we had to all ask ourselves that and, and uh, really try to answer that every day like who am i who am you i know, like what what am i here for what am i placed on this earth to do you and know? i think that's an important part of meditation is um silencing the noise around you and actually listening to your own thoughts mm -hmm. i feel like very rarely in throughout our day is any of our thoughts our own mm -hmm. you know as soon as we wake up you're either turning on the radio you turning on the tv checking the facebook you checking social media yeah at one, at some point, you have to ask yourself, well, "What thought is really mine, and mm -hmm. who am I really?" That's true. Or are all these things shaping me? That's true. And so I think that's the important part of meditation and seeking what's inside of you, seeking your own thoughts and what's really bothering you. Then I feel like you can really figure out. Okay, to me, I feel like this is my purpose for this life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't, I ain't trying to. Like be crazy, but I'm going ahead. Aaron Green, no such thing, man. No such thing as crazy. We talking to Aaron Green, dog. Like for real. When you when you see the the great things you've been able to do so far as an athlete, and you see the influence that you've been able to have as an athlete, what's that one thing you want people to remember you as I was, when it's all said and done? That I was I was genuine. I was a real one, and I cared about the people. Um, I cared about my people and also everyone else, you know, all humans. Um, I feel like uh, the only way to make this world a better place is to, to love on one another and be knowledgeable about where we came from because mm -hmm. that's the only way to be um, knowledgeable and about where we're going, where we're heading. Yeah. Um, so I think that's the main thing I want people to know about me, which is why when you know, when, when, when you guys asked me to send you guys a picture of advertisement, I didn't send a football picture because that's one thing that I hate the most is to be recognized as a football player because mm -hmm. that's just something I'm doing for a time and point in my life. Like, that's, that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much depth to me. There's so yeah. much depth to everybody in this world. But I feel like in America, when people have certain jobs, it's glamorized over others, you know, and it's just like, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a regular person. Like, I don't care about this outside zone or scoring this touchdown. Outside of this, it's real people hurting out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting paid to play a, to play a, a child's game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's people out here really, really in the gutter. You feel me? Really struggling, you know? And so if I can be somewhat of a voice for them, um, somewhat of a, a, a refuge, then... Man, I've done all I needed to do. Can't no, that's 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 some money came by. You already know how I feel about money. That's just a piece of paper, bro. Yeah. You got real souls out here hurting, <laughs> hurting, dying each and every day. And so, if I can impact those people and try to make this world a better place, you can't tell me nothing. And, and speaking of just athletes in general. What do you say to that young athlete that, you know, they're looking up to professional athletes like yourself, Aaron Green, they're like, you know, you know how it is. People come and they rush yep. you for autographs yep. after the game and they want to take a selfie all yeah. the time. What do you say to those young athletes out there who may just only want the hype? You know, they just want to yeah. make it in the league, but they don't really understand that reality hits. Like, you still got life. You yeah. got to live. You still got family. You still got responsibilities. What do you say to that young athlete out there who wants to be big, but 
don't really know about the reality. Mm. I would challenge them to ask themselves why do they want that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that'll tell you a lot about yourself. If it's for the Instagram post, <laughs> if it's for the keep it to the it, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it's for the women, you yeah. you know what I'm saying. I think that that shows you where your heart is, where your spirit is. You know what I'm saying. And my advice for them is to pick up a book. Like I said last time, pick up a book, man. Read something. Not um, just read something. They, they're like the words can't even describe how much reading and watching things that I weren't knowledgeable of has opened my mind and opened my spirit to the reality of the world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like football is such a small piece mm-hmm. of of just human history. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So it's it's not everything, and unfortunately. I feel like especially in the black community, it's ingrained in us as a small child that we can only do two things, mm. play a sport yeah. or rap. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's up to us, the OGs, if you will, to to spread that knowledge to them. That like, man, you, you more than that. Just like LeBron said, I'm more than, I'm more than a basketball player. Like, you, mm-hmm. you more than the sport that you play. And even outside of sports, you're more than the job that you are. Like, mm-hmm. that stuff, it doesn't define you. And I feel like everything is about labels. Like, they try to put so many labels on us. Um, They're trying to get that story. Yeah, just trying to, trying to get us, like I said, yeah, man, line, ever yeah. since we think about Hey Arnold. Yeah. What, think about Gerald. <laughs> the black kid. What what was what did he have on? Yeah. A jersey, right? Yeah. Got the front. Thirty three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So subconsciously they're 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 teaching us that this is what you're supposed to do if your skin looks like this. You're supposed to play some type of sport. Some yeah. type of ball. Yeah. You feel me? That makes so sense. man, it's it, it's time to break break free from that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I have children, I don't even want my kids to play football. <laughs> You feel me? We're going to be out there kicking that soccer, but they're going to get some exercise. (laughs) Don't get me wrong. But as far as finding your identity in this stuff, come on, man. Because when this stuff gone, people don't even know who they are because that's who they Mm. thought they were. Wow. And that's a sad reality. I see it every single day. I see it every single day. Now, that's real because uh, going back to Nipsey real quick, he was more than rap. Hmm. He not only had a message, he yeah. lived. He lived his, his message. message. And uh, just tagging with what you're talking about with athletes and uh, being able to influence your community. At the end of the day, even the stories that we read, someone had to write it. Mm-hmm. But in order for that person to write it, they had to have life experiences. Yeah. The only way you can have life experiences is if you live. live. And how many times are people just... Alive. Going, mm-hmm. but they're not living. And see, that's my frustration with just the whole concept of just America, mm-hmm. just the world. Think about it. You spend how many years? Twelve years in school, yeah. <laughs> and then from there, they tell you you have to go to college. And then when you get out of college, they tell you you're supposed to get married. And yeah. then when you get married, you're supposed to have a child. And then you're supposed to work. Yeah. Now ask yourself, is that really living? Are we really modern day slaves? Yeah, that's really all this is. Think about it. You yeah. gotta wake up to go to work. Just to get a piece of the crown. Think about it. Just to <laughs> to work. Why? Yeah. Why yeah. why why do we even have to work? There's a reason why they're keeping us this busy. I mean, if you if you just look at all the ads that pops up everywhere. Not just your TV, not just your uh, social Trying media. Trying to get you to spend money. Everywhere. Everything. Everything. And, and it's because, you know, there's going to be people like, well, why are you focus on that? Well, here's the reason why we're focused on that. I guess I guess just like Nipsey was trying to do, trying to wake people up. Because mm. at the end of the day, going back to what I said earlier, if you don't know your purpose. Yeah. Then what are you doing? Mm. You know. If I didn't have a purpose for this show, why have this mic on? Right. It's just hot noise. Yeah. You know, if if this show was just to talk about your fame and how many autographs you signed yesterday, then what am I doing? What are we doing? I'm just we fe- ain't helping nobody. I'm just feeding the, the addiction. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look, social media, Gary Vee, uh, he, he talks about it a lot. 
it's not it's not about the likes mm. some some of your profiles that got like 50 followers are the most powerful profiles yeah because they have something that they are doing yeah everything else it's off a show it's off a show and it's shallow because at the end of the day if you, if you delete that profile if you take away those likes what do you really have what do you have and, so, and sadly a lot of people have nothing which is why they find their validation in social media yeah. in how many followers they have you got followers on social media but trust me ain't nobody following you not in real life <laughs> ain't nobody following you not in real life you know what I'm saying like this is this is fake this is this is a fake reality. People are just let, showing you what they want you to see, but in reality, they might be just as broke as you. Oh, psh. with a hundred thousand followers, man. You know what I'm saying? So, they, they, man, that's, it's, it's, it's it's not real, man. It's all fabricated, and it's causing so many insecurities mm-hmm. in the human mind. You know what I'm saying? Because all Instagram is is a a big platform to compare your life to somebody else's. That's not in their life. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? They, they so. just choose one day. I'm a well. I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. There. It's not that kind of show. <laughs> but you know, like what I'm I, trying I, to. I actually, me and my lady, we watched this um, the show last night, um, the Fire Fest. Have you seen that? Mm. Ooh, man. But anyways, it's some they this private jet has a company to where people can literally pay money. To go on the plane, the plane don't go nowhere. You sit down, and there's professional photographers taking pictures of you on this private jet. Wow! <laughs> so people can think that, you that you're living something. that life. Yeah. You take the pictures, you dress up, you go on this private jet, you take pictures, and you go home. And you post on Instagram. Come on, man! Damn. Come on! Like if that's not the most shallowest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Like, but that's where we are as a society. I yeah. forget. I forget what rapper. But it's a rapper talking about that. Uh, you take all these selfies uh, on your vacation. It might have been Drake. Drake, yep. But then you Scorpion. wait. Yeah, you, you wait a while just to post it later. Make so you feel that, like you're still on the go. Yeah. Yep. And this is awesome because it keeps tying back to I'm going to keep driving people's brain, their mind. Know your purpose. Because your purpose it's not about it's not about the money mm. like your purpose is this is my fingerprint yeah that shows my true identity yeah the problem is there's people who are here but they had no identity mm. it's almost like blind leading the blind walking dead that's what the show is about yeah it, a whole bunch of people we really zombies out here bro like i said like <laughs> like i said you we 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 we're, we're just we we're just working we're just working we don't even have no time to think for ourselves they think for us they think for us yeah you know what i'm saying the food that we eat is is strategically put there to make us vibrate on a lower frequency to have us out here living like savages <laughs> killing each other robbing each other like it's it's real out here there's a reason why there's so much junk food in the hoods there's a reason why there's a mcdonald's on every corner every in the corner. hood every you feel corner. me a liquor yeah. store on every corner in the hood why because they want you to vibrate on this on this on this lower frequency because you are what you eat and to kind of illustrate that to the audience too is uh at the end of the day if you if you kind of this hair what we're saying because you know you know you got some people thinking oh conspiracy and nah this well here's the thing what Aaron is really saying is until you pay attention to details Mm. you're just you're just gonna believe every single thing that comes out media Mm. you gotta open your eyes instead of reading a book informing yourself instead of going out there and actually living your life like Honestly, there's times where I'll actually like stay off of Instagram, of course, and Twitter, of course, and just kind of open up my eyes more. Okay, because we can get on Instagram and Twitter, and it's fun. Don't get me wrong; yeah, it's it's cool stuff about it. But we can get so deep into it to where we almost lose ourselves. Yeah, because coming coming back to what you're saying, where we're just kind of like comparing each other's lives, we try to get 
caught up into the hype of well, who has the best post now? Mm-hmm. And then it's an addiction every week. Oh, addiction. I got I got made new content. New, I got made new, new content. content. It's like, how about you just live your life? Just live. Everybody don't gotta see everything that you do. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not the whole. The whole point, I believe, social media should be. It should be inspiration. It should be hey. Look at this dope stuff we're doing. Enlightenment. And just, just leave it at that. Enlightenment. Yeah. Because once you cross the line that I have to do this for a show. Mm. I have to do this so that people can like me. Like me. me. <laughs> Accepting. Nah, if I do what I do, I do it because I love doing it. Exactly. If you don't like it, I don't care if I get zero. I don't care if I go negative 200. Exactly. <laughs> and see, that's the thing, man. It's all about acceptance. But people... In reality, they haven't even accepted themselves, and which the is key. why we're looking for validation and acceptance for the peer people around and us. And that leads to jealousy and frustration, envy. Yeah, and, and you know that's 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 really the sad truth. Um, today's today's world. I mean, think about it. I remember when I was a little kid. There was no Twitter. There was no Facebook. There, there was no nothing to log on. Mm. You you went outside. Yeah. And you played football, you played basketball, whether it's two touch football. You, you who just, was at whose house yeah. by the bikes in the front yard. You actually <laughs> Yeah, you actually spoke to people. I mean today's world not knocking it, but I'm just saying we, we get so consuming it that people literally I see every day, eyes are glued to their phone twenty four seven. And what I mean by that is you can be on the elevator and this this is the funny part. This is so funny. You be on the elevator because I got a day job. And you go up the elevator and everybody whips out their phone. Yeah. Because they're so nervous they to speak. Awkward. They, they, they don't want to say They're good, scared. Yeah. They don't want to say good morning, good afternoon. They'll say good morning after the door opens and it's time for them to go. They don't want to talk for real. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, we all in our in our own little bubbles, man. Yeah. And it's, it's disgusting. But, I mean, that's, I don't care what you call me, but that's, the, that's how they want it. Yeah. Because if we stay divided... They're going okay. to be able to continue to conquer. Put us in these yeah. group of friends. We're so and separated. Yeah. So separated. And once again, I'm going to just put it in there because I don't want people to be thinking, oh, y'all talking about conspiracy. No. Nah, what we're really trying to do, there's like a lot of people out there right now who are very unpopular. Mm-hmm. They're trying to wake people up by telling them the truth. And how do you get hated fast? You speak the speak truth. Speak the truth. How do you get love fast? You live a lot. Mm. I'm going to say that again. How do you get unpopular fast? You speak the truth. Speak the truth. How do you get popular fast? You live a lot. And it's so true, man. Because how many so people true. out here trying to make it? A better place. You know what I'm saying? And then got took, taken out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got taken out. And if people can take one thing away from this uh, episode, what Aaron Green and I are talking about, is that P, purpose. Because without purpose, there's no plan. Right. Without a plan, there's no vision. Mm. Hate to get biblical, but I'm going to just be real. Without a vision, people perish. Mm. So if you don't have purpose, see, purpose is almost like a seed. You don't know what the harvest is going to be like. Yeah. But you know if you plant that seed that one time, you broke the mold. Yeah. Like you, you, you disrupted the norm. Yeah. And. And sometimes it takes that one small action that can change the rest of the story. Mm. Imagine Nipsey Hussle. And, you know, this is going to be a tribute, man. You know what? This tribute, is going to be a tribute yeah. to Nipsey Hussle, man. Because, yes, I was not listening to all his music. But when I started to listen to his music, because, I, like I said, I, I saw what he was doing online, but I never took the time to, to actually... Get to, get to know his music You see a guy Who literally Not was just trying to wake people up But he was trying to Inspire people to rise up Yeah For a purpose Purpose, a greater good In other words What can I do In this world That goes beyond me Yeah Because we are living in a culture where if it ain't about me, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Versus what can I do to disrupt the norm 
of what people are thinking like and how can I change the way they think about things. Mm. See, people like Nipsey Hussle, people like Dwayne Wade, like Dwayne Wade still make an impact. I mean, I'll even say Dirk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He, he He's on his about to close the book on basketball. Oh, man, I can't believe it. <laughs> but what I'm trying to illustrate is whether it's black, white, whatever, white skin, dark skin, purpose don't have yeah. any color. No matter what, your blood is still going to be red. Yeah. Everybody's blood is red. And there's one guarantee that everybody's going to face, and that's death. Mm. There's not one person on this planet that will escape it. That's why purpose is key. That's yeah. why it's important. And, man, you know, you know what they say when, when uh, you're having a good time, time just fly like like crazy. And I like saying when you're having a good time, it's like ice on the hot stove. Yeah. It's like, man, dang. Yeah. <laughs> man, you got to get back to your schedule. You know what I'm saying? You got to release Bay Bay and his gym. But before we wrap up this episode, man, I really like the direction this went to because it almost feel like it was a dope rap song. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It gets people thinking and it gets people to really focus on the fact that maybe I am here more than what, what everybody else is trying to say. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm not what everybody's trying to call me to be. Maybe I need to really get along with myself mm. and reflect on what is my assignment yeah because you know a lot of times when people don't know their assignment they will just follow anything yeah exactly you know what i'm saying like they will say well since they're not saying i'm good enough to do that i'm gonna just settle for this yeah you know if someone don't speak in my life and say hey you can be an entrepreneur or you can be a college student the thing is no matter if you work nine to five or you work 24 7 with no sleep as long as you got your purpose, there's not one soul that can take that from you. Nobody. And that's the problem. We Nobody. we give our seeds to other people, and we exchange it for their cheap mm-hmm. seeds, mm-hmm. thinking that we're going to have some kind of amazing harvest. But reality is, unless you really know your purpose in life, unless you have something like, no one can pay me to do this. Yeah. I'll do this with a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Yeah, and I'll have the, I'll have the same energy. Mm. And I'm pretty sure if you were playing football, it didn't matter if someone paid you or not. Mm. You play football, but it's more than football. It's more like than you ball. said earlier. Yeah, it's more than the paycheck. It's more than the the crazy fans. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. You, I mean, I don't know how I can do it, man. <laughs> Hey, can you take a selfie, man? Yeah, hey, man. Hey, can you take a selfie? It's, it's like, like, damn, y'all got more pictures than my family, man. Right. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, which is why a big part of me was just playing ball and going home to the people who really matter. Because they want a selfie with you one day, you drop a ball, they want to kill you the next. So, <laughs> so it's just like, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't too much care about any of that, man. The only, the only thing I care about is, is you know, my family, my yeah. friends, and the people who, who show me genuine love without the helmet on. You know what I'm saying? So that's, 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 that's all that matters, man. You know what's crazy is when we first talked, you know, you was doing your thing. And here we are once again. You're still doing your thing. Still doing. Just a, I, I like call it. It's, it's a pattern. Yeah. And and what it is, is consistency. Yeah. Because we talked there on the first time we uh, spoke on the show, the importance of having a clarity. Because we all have that influence, whether it's our mom, our dad, brother, sister, uncle, whatever, grandpa. I would say who plants that seed of purpose. Yeah. There's always someone before us who kind of like hands us the baton and say, hey, finish the race. Yeah. You know, I had my part. Now I'm handing it off yeah. to you. Don't drop it. got to carry it on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't drop it. Yeah. Because the reason why I say that is because how many times do people, or should I say some people, because I can't put everyone in the same brush. How many times do some people drop their dreams and their goals in life just because? 
Just because it got too hard. Just too because hard. somebody too said hard. something about me. Just because uh, I didn't make it on the timeline that I thought I would make it. You know what I'm saying? Or the timeline that somebody else made it. That too. Gets us in a lot of trouble, man. You know what I'm saying is, Aaron Green, he hasn't even scratched the surface. I haven't. This is almost like a pit stop. I don't know if you watch NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I watch NASCAR. It's a pit stop. It's a you know pit what I'm saying? Stop. Sometimes during the race, when there's a crash or there's something going on, debris on the road, they have those, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of ignorant. I don't know everything about NASCAR, but they have those cars. I call it special cars. I know there's a vocabulary yeah. in there. But they come and they kind of guide people and say, yeah. hey, you know. But there's also when they have to have pit stops where they have to change tires and all the other stuff, maintenance for the car, so they can, what, continue on that Going race. On. Yep. And that's what your purpose is once yeah. you find it. Whenever you need to make that pit stop, it recharges you. Yeah. See, the thing is, purpose is like an outlet on the wall. If I didn't have an outlet, this show would not be possible. Talk to I me. I have nothing to plug into. Talk to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I have no power that's going to drive me to live what we're doing. And yeah. that's doing this show. Yeah. That's Talk the same thing me. with your purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's like whether you switch teams and you play in overseas, it don't matter. Your purpose is the plug. Yeah. And sometimes people are so busy trying to plug other people thinking that that's going to give them some leftover benefits. That's what I call it. Yeah. If I just scratch this person, you know, kiss that person, you know what, maybe I might get some of this success. No, mm-hmm. there's no shortcut. Success, no shortcut. Success is really just a happy person. That's all it is. I've been <laughs> That's interv- all it is. I've been envying people. It's your definition of success. I've been envying people for, I can't, maybe four or five years now and the main common thread I mean we interview people from multi-millionaire to the person who just getting started with their business to a person who's just in high school and there's no difference in the value of those people yeah the only difference is how they use their minutes mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping some that's secret all, sauce that's, that's all we have is time. That's all you got. I you mean, can make money again, but you, you can't, can't make, make time, time again. Man. <laughs> you can't make time. Time is I all mean, we have. I mean, the reason why I'm going this direction is because, uh, you know, God, whatever, what you believe in, I believe in God. I believe in God. But when he gives you life, he knows the point when you're going to expire. Mm. You don't. But your life is a blank canvas. So as you are living and taking action, I say this all the time, your action is the paint that you leave your mark on history. Absolutely. Only way we can read about you is if you did something. If you did something. You got to ask yourself, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why if am you I don't, here? If you don't like it, change it. I know I'm raising my voice a little bit, but I get Go excited ahead. sometimes. Raise it. <laughs> if you don't like it, man, you better wake up. Wake up. So purpose and wake up. Because mm. guess what? When you wake up every morning, I say that's purpose calling. Yeah. Purpose yeah. calls you until you le- until you breathe your last breath. Yeah. Shout out to Nipsey Hussle again because you cannot tell me Consistently, daily, all I see is tributes to Nipsey. Yeah. That you see is how much un- he meant to people. Yeah. You see how much he meant. You I know? mean, it was like the day after the news broke, his sales went 2,000% up. Mm. 2,000%. Yeah. Not 100%. 2,000. What people don't understand is. If you are not taking life serious, it's going to go by. Yeah. And one of these days, you're going to look over your shoulder, and you're either going to say, dang, we did it, or we're going to say, dang, why didn't I? They said the biggest pain is regret. The biggest pain is regret. So that's why... I encourage everybody to do what you truly want to do, regardless of the currency, regardless of the money, 
Do what makes you happy. Just do it, man. I mean, do I, it. I got. I'm gonna put this on my other podcast because I have another podcast show called Keep Grinding, mm. and it's a little bit more different. But this fits it, man. It fits both platforms. But Keep Grinding, just a quick little plug in. Keep uh, Keep Grinding. Always selling that show because it's not the end of the show. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I used to say at the end. Keep Grinding podcast. Every show I do, I say Keep grinding. Because no one else is going to force you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep grinding. Because at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you. And even if you hit rock bottom, the best thing you can do is look up. Mm. I said that every single show at the end. Because guess what? When the microphones are off, you're going to work. I'm going to work, baby. You know what I'm saying? We, we all going to work. You're going to take care of our families. You're going to take care of our bills. We're going to live our life. Yeah. But the thing is... When the mic is on, hey, this is where I'm going with that. Yeah. When your life is on, that's your mic. That's your mic. Live it. Live it. Because when that mic is turned off, when your life is over. Yeah. The only thing that really matters is what you did when the mic was yeah, on. When the lights was on. When the lights cut on, it's, it's time to get busy. When the lights turn off, it's too late. This is why I say the biggest pain is regret. You got to lay it all out there. Because as far as I'm concerned, you know, this 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 the life we got. You know what I'm saying? It's the only life we have right now, you know, to to our conscious state. So you got to live it the way that, that, that it's supposed to be lived. Treat people right. Um, continue to clear your mind. Make an impact on people, man. Make an impact on people because that's, that's what we're here for. I think we all know that when we're all here to, for each other, the world's a better place. I think... I don't think anybody can argue that. I think when we're all divided like we are today in 2019, mm -hmm. it's ugly. Oh, yeah. It's ugly. It's ugly. So that's why I say, man, continue to just pay attention to your mental health, um, the things that you allow into your, to your spirit, the things that we watch, we listen to, mm -hmm. because that has an impact on how we treat one another, how we go about certain situations. You know, and we gotta realize, man, that stuff on the TV, it's not real life. Nah, it's not real life. Right. I said this to my cousin probably like six, seven years ago. Television is just what it is. Tell a, a vision. vision. Yep. Or tell a lie. So vision. which one you which one you believe in then? Yeah. The one you see on TV or the one that's inside. Yeah. Because really, until you <laughs> until you tap into what really matters. That was a nice sound effect. Because <laughs> I was going to say, until you tap... <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty awesome. Because what I'm about to say is crazy. Until you tap into what really matters, you will never be released into your purpose. Yeah. <laughs> that sound effect was like yeah. perfect timing. Because so many people get locked up. And what happens is, if they if they get bitter, instead of becoming better themselves they will blame everything in sight it's almost like driving at night without headlights <laughs> if, you, if you don't have purpose man you're driving at night with no headlights mm -hmm. man you don't know where you're going yeah. you're gonna hit a tree you're gonna hit a wall you're gonna hit something yeah but if you have your headlights on your purpose you'd be surprised where you can make your destination yeah because that's the other thing Without purpose, there's no destination. No destination. You just you're like just going. You're just living. You're just a dot that you throw up in the air and hopefully it lands somewhere. Hopefully. And that's a sad way to live, man. All right. Talking to Aaron Green, man. <laughs> we got in some deep conversations, man. Uh, I really like uh, where we went in the direction. Not just a tribute to Nipsey Hussle, but uh, I say a tribute to anybody and everybody who tried to make a difference. Yeah, for sure. Uh, at the end of the day. If we can learn for what, from what he was trying to do. See, the biggest tragedy would be that everybody gets all um, Go positive. Back to a regular yeah. way of living. It would be, it'd be a sad thing if we all get inspired by Nipsey Hussle and what he was trying to do. And then after a few months, we just kind of like fall back. Yeah, we can't, we can't let his passing go in vain. 
Same we thing. Can't let it go in vain. And same thing to everybody before us who's trying to make a difference. Martin Luther King. I mean, the list. Malcolm X is long. Yeah, the list is long. I mean, even our own family. You know, there's grandmas and grandfathers who are trying to make a path for us to have a better future. Yeah. And guess what? You can't have a path if you're not moving. Yeah. So I think yeah. we all need to start moving. Moving. And that's a perfect segue to land the plane on this episode. Because, uh, like I said, man, I don't want to keep you away from your busy schedule. Because uh, when, when you find out what you're supposed to do, there is nothing anywhere in this world that can uh, keep you from it. Yeah. Yeah. Because once your mind is made up, it's made up. It's made up. And there's only two things you're going to do. You're going to do something great or you're going to do something stupid. Yeah. And the reason I say stupid is because we all do things and we make mistakes. Of course. But there's a difference from making a mistake and just being stupid. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Because stupid is what stupid does. But if you learn from those mistakes, you not only have wisdom, but you have an opportunity to leave a path behind you so the next person in line can kind of understand, hey, I can di- I can get the textbooks, the textbook from uh, Aaron Green. Yeah. Because he left a path because he kept moving. Yeah. So the question is, are you moving? Do you, and do you know your purpose? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, if you are isolated from people, if you are idle from this life, you ain't doing nothing. Nothing. And if you're not doing nothing, you're hurting people that need it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, I hope y'all got a lot from this episode. And, and uh, man, I learned a lot from Aaron, man. Damn. Hey, before I leave you need here. need some books. <laughs> before I leave here, you mind if I read something that I wrote? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay. The other day, man, uh, my lady was in the shower and my mind just started going. And actually, before, after that last podcast, she kind of inspired me to, to start writing. I ain't never wrote before. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's helped my thought process a lot. So before I read this, mm-hmm. I'm going to let you know that it, that it is real. Excuse no, some think. of my language. It ain't going to be no F-bombs, but <laughs> hey, <clears throat> it's going to be for real. <clears throat> All right. It goes, claiming you a real one, but when in reality, you just a love and lost nigga. Self-hating clown, but you quick to pull the trigger. We spent over 400 years in chains and shackles. They took your home. They took your land. They took your religion. They separated you from your family. They even took your name. So blacks killing blacks, I wonder who's really to blame. But nevertheless, we're clearly confused and we continue to prolong this ongoing cycle. We mourn, we pray, then we put our faith up in the Bible. You see, the pastor would just say to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. The same message from 400 years ago when they were throwing our people overboard. While we're on our knees praying, they're on their knees praying on the little black nigga. On the plantation, we immensely feared our lives for the white man. But today, they have us so confused that we'll kill each other for them. It's frightening. We're really sweeping ourselves off the map. Like a broom day Hate our own, kill our own Damn, it's a doomsday They made us believe that we can only hoop and rap They say go make an album But who's gonna break that mold and become the next Malcolm? But I guess with everything that's ever happened to our people I can't even blame us for being another lost nigga Made us gritty and conniving We just chasing the six figures We won't kill our thoughts of self-hate Sadly, we'd rather kill each other but then again, it's money over everything. No friends, no brothers. Wow. Wow. I'm not touching it, man. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna let, I'm let that marinate. Yeah. Uh, only thing I would say is uh, purpose. Purpose. That's all I'm gonna say. Vision and a purpose. That's all I'm gonna say. Purpose. Because. Uh, after hearing that I'll, Look out for one another man Yeah Look out for one another Like I said At the end of the day Our blood is red um, no, no matter what, what color Your skin is 
um, I write to, you know, encourage my people a lot because I feel like my people are the one that are oppressed and going through the most in this country that, you know, we're not even supposed to be in. So a lot of my time and my effort and my my stuff is in my writings are going towards us but i love everybody and mm-hmm. we should love everybody no matter if your skin is black mm-hmm. white yellow blue green or red like i said everybody's blood is red and the only way to make this world a better place is for us to stand mm-hmm. next to one another um, be there for one another and watch this world grow into a better place for our children's children i know this metaphor might be a little cheesy but it kind of works if you look at a pack of Skittles, man. Talk to them. It's a ton of different flavors Talk in, in that pack, man. Mm. But when you go buy that pack of Skittles, they're in that pack. They're in that pack. So in other words, this earth, man, we this is what <laughs> this is the pack, <laughs> man. This is the pack. You know what I'm saying? So, so many different flavors. You know, I mean Take care of them all. I mean it's everybody. It's for another show, but it's it's like, man, you start questioning things like war. Hmm. Why? Because really it's a profit for where we're selling Why? those bullets, man. <sighs> You, I mean It's disgusting it, it, Disgusting If you think about it Like I'm not even gonna go there But no, I, I want to Take but it there whoa, whoa, whoa. You know cause Take it there Trust me it, We it, talk about this every day It makes you It Keeps makes me you, up at night It makes you scratch your head Like Why are we hating Certain groups of people When there were times Where we didn't even mention it mm. I mean there's things That we talk about today And we see in the news today It wasn't even a factor In the childhood when I was growing up there's, there's certain religions and people that, that we just hate yeah for what and we never grew up where they grew up we alright let me pick a picture for you somewhere in the middle east they're living their life parents are raising their kids they're trying to live their life foreign land Outside looking in. Where's the hate coming from? Where's the hate coming from? Because it's not something it's that... Learned. It's a learned behavior. Exactly where I was going. It's because, a learned behavior. Because you, you have people on the outside looking in thinking that they have a solution. Trying to change people's perspectives, but to what? Mm. For what? It's power. It's all about power. Now, I'm telling you... you got to think. <laughs> I've actually been to Israel I've been to the Holy Land I've been over there so and actually that trip over there in 2013 was the first time I started questioning everything that I've ever learned you know what I'm saying because that's that's some that's a Muslim Islamic area mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so I'm off the back I'm around a whole bunch of people whose beliefs are different than mine and I'm not I don't claim to any religion I don't I don't believe in religion mm-hmm. but at that point in time I did but that was the focal point of me questioning everything. It's like, why are we so separated? Why do we really hate them? <laughs> Man, there's so many things mm. I can say right now. But I'm, I'm fiercely going to let you go. But I will, I will <laughs> have to say this. I will have to say this before we close. I do believe, I do believe in God. The issue I have is that there are people out there who claim in it. But they only pick in certain scriptures. Mm. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, leave it there because I can go on and on <laughs> about the scriptures. So I'm, I'm gonna yeah, just leave it at that. Yeah, because there's some people who could cut certain things to change cultures and change communities. Of course. And if you want that to stop, I have some bad news for everybody. It's it's really not going to stop. No. But. There are people out there who can help stop the bleeding. And those are the people who live their purpose. Mm. Those are the people who wake up every day and they have a message. Yeah. Those are the people who, at the end of the day, like we said earlier, they can put everything out on the table. Yeah. And not leave anything inside. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you're not pouring out being a blessing to somebody... Then you're really you're holding back. And on that note, I'm getting Aaron Green out of here because we said <laughs> everything possibly uh perfect for this episode that will wake people up once again. Uh much love to the Nipsey Hustle family. Rest uh, in power. We hope that 
everybody who's learning about him like I am right now. Because like I said, I knew of him, but I didn't know him. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That, and that's the major difference. If people took time to learn about each other, imagine about Just the more time. common that we have as a more as a human think, race more than you ever know because we're so busy looking on the cover of the book that we Surface. don't even read the chapters yeah and we don't even bother to write new chapters Mm-mm. we just want to read read what somebody else gave us all right let me stop <laughs> on that note man we hope y'all enjoy uh this episode make sure you share it with everybody uh this is i am refocus podcast talking to aaron green and like we always say, man, keep God first, stay focused, stay focused. and the most important word, peace. Peace. peace.